Hi, everyone. Today we have in front of us an HP Lab HP 15 laptop. It came with an issue for overheating. Overheating, like when you're using your laptop too much, overheating, the laptop will just keep on tripping off, going on automatically, and it's heated up to the extent that you cannot be able to put it even on your lap. So I will show you how to solve the issue of overheating on your laptop. So today I will show the procedure how you can resolve any issue when it comes to overheating on your laptop when your laptop will maybe keep on turning off automatically after using it and you are experiencing too much temperature. Most of that, that most of that fault is being caused by maybe your fan is not functioning well and, and you have a block your ventilation has been blocked so I will show you the procedure step by step how we can resolve that issue for any laptop you come across not only HP any brand of laptop you come across so for example we have the HP laptop here in front of us as usual first of all we had to remove a back cover in order to have access to our system fan in order to have uh, access to a CPU fan so after opening the back cover of our laptop you can see we can have access to our fan our cpu fan and our heat sink so the temperature when your processor is very hot and your cpu or your ventilation fan cannot be able to send out the heat it always generates to much or increase in temperature which might easily affect even your processor or your GPU your video chip your CPU or your, on your GPU so it's always advisable when you when your heat sink is also blocked with data you also have such a main fault with your laptop because the fan will be functioning but it will not be able to send out heat out of your laptop so it the heat will accumulate in your laptop and it will cause an increase in temperature so today i will show you as usual we always learn to remove our battery from our laptop before doing any work on our laptop After you removing your battery from your laptop, the next step you have to do is to remove your system fan and your heat sink. Remove your system fan and your heat sink. So you can see how dirty the fan is you can see how dirty the fan is that even if your even if the fan is giving out air it cannot pass by due to this dirt so you have to open your fan in order to remove this dirty from it because when it accumulates like this it will not it will prevent air from coming out it will prevent hot air from coming out so the air will accumulate in your system and it will make the processor not to work efficiently and it will make the laptop to be tripping off. So you can see also from the heat sink, you can see also from the heat sink how dirty it is, how dirty it is because air can no longer go out, hot air can no longer go out so you can see how dirty it is that is why it's causing all this overheating with your laptop so you'll be needing a brush a dry brush a brush or if you have a blower with you you can use it you need a dry brush to clean off all this dirt from your laptop from your heat sink if you have a blower you can also blow out your fan
so after cleaning out uh, after cleaning your heat sink with your fan if you have there is a solution that the they usually apply on the processor or the, the GPU. The thermal solution, like this, a thermal paste. You can have this in any local computer shop in your community. It's very good. It helps to reduce temperature. It helps to cool down the CPU. It helps to cool down the GPU also. So it's always advisable to apply this on your on your CPU and maybe on your GPU also so that to reduce down the temperature so it's always advisable to apply this on your cpu you can have this in any local computer shop around your community so you will look for any clean and dry tissue of this kind to clean in case you have any dry thermal paste on your processor formally you have to clean it off before applying your new paste on it you have to clean it off very well you have to clean it off very well then after cleaning your CPU and your GPU, you apply, you apply a thermal paste or thermal solution on it. Little quantity. Then you place back your heat sink. After you are done cleaning your heat sink very well, you place back your heat sink. make sure you tie your processor very well tie it very well because if you don't do that it will make the laptop to be going off So this is a normal procedure how you can use to solve overheating for any laptop that you come across. If your laptop is your is having too much temperature that it keeps on going off automatically by itself. So this is the best procedure you can use to solve out a solution. So if you have any doubt, any question, you can leave it at the comment section. Thank you for watching. Remember, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.